Hi, if you've been hearing a lot about AI app builders and wondering how people are launching AI tools so quickly without building full backends, databases or model pipelines, this video is for you. In this tutorial, I will show you anything AI in this tutorial, I will show you how anything AI app builder works, how you actually build AI powered app inside it. By the end, you'll understand how AI apps are structured, how logic flow work and whether this platform is even worth using for your use case. So first, let's discuss what is anything AI app builder and what it's not. So anything AI app builder is a no code AI application platform, but it's not just another chatbot tool. The goal here isn't to generate text. It's to build usable AI powered products. Instead of writing backend code, handling model APIs or managing infrastructure, anything AI gives you a visual environment where AI logic, prompts, workflows and UI all live together. You are essentially designing how an AI thinks, reacts and responds inside an app rather than just prompting a model in isolation. It's best described as a bridge between AI model, app logic and user interface. So you can go from idea to a working AI app without engineering overhead. So let's get into it. First, navigate to any browser, go to the search bar and type in anything AI. Now, click on anything AI app builder and it is going to take you to this page. Here, you'll have to click on get started if you don't have an account and if you have an account, click login. Then basically, sign up using your user credentials and you'll be instantly taken to the anything AI apps dashboard. So, once you log in and get on the dashboard, you will see the option to create a new app. Don't overthink templates at first. Start with a blank AI application. This forces you to understand the structure instead of hiding behind presets. So as you can see, it says what can I help you build today? Simply describe your app idea. So for this tutorial, I will build a simple color picker. So I will type in generate me a simple random color picker. The app's interface should be very good. And you can start explaining what are the features you need in your app, what are extra tools that you want in your app and how you want the UI to be. For example purposes, I will quickly generate a simple random color picker and the app's interface should be very good. Now, I will click on this auto icon and choose the best mode, whether I want a lot of thinking, whether I want the discussion mode through which I can prompt without making changes and faster response, but it can be less accurate. Also, you can choose max the coding agent going viral you can click upgrade and get a pro plan in order to use it. For now, I will choose fast. Now, click default and choose which model to use. You can choose Gemini 3 Pro or GPT 5.2. These are beta models or you can just use the default. You can also click on upload image and simply choose an image from your PC's directory that can help you build a similar app. So for example, if you have an interface in your mind, you can simply upload its image here and ask anything AI to build a similar interface that should look like the image added. Now, you can also click on add integration and search for more integrations like ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, DALI and a lot of integrations are available just right here. So you can choose any integration according to your preference. You can also click assets, upload asset and choose to upload a JPG, PNG or GIF file. Now, after you enter your prompt, click the send icon that is this arrow icon and it will ask you how do you plan to use anything. That is the app. So you can choose to skip it or give all the answers to it. I'm going to skip it. Now, you have to just wait for your app to get finished. Now, anything AI will plan an app implementation. It will show you what is it going to do. Now, it will stop, but don't worry. You'll have to simply type your cursor in make updates to your app and simply type in go ahead and build it. But if you want to make any changes in the app implementation that you see right here, you can simply type in the change request and hit this arrow icon. Now, this will instantly move ahead and start designing a product. Now, as you can see, anything AI app just finished building my application. And it is looking something like this. This is the anything AI app project workspace. Here, I can simply edit the UI of my application and make changes pretty easily. So if you click this code icon just right here, it will show a preview of your files that looks something like this. Here, you can embed your project with this HTML code on a website. You can download your project by clicking on the download icon. This will start installing a zip file on a PC. You can copy the code from here and paste it anywhere you want. So that was the code icon. Now click preview again and that will instantly get you back to this page. Here you can see all the chats between you and anything AI. Now your app will appear just right here. You can see this is the random color picker I generated. I can simply copy this hex code and paste it anywhere I want 
Now I can copy the RGB, click save and click generate at the top right and it is instantly generating a random color picker. Also, I'm getting a history feature just right here. This is pretty cool. I can also save colors, move it and clear colors. If I click this clear icon, this will instantly clear my history. I can copy the RGB color and paste it anywhere I want. So this is pretty cool. When I click this color, it will instantly generate a new color. I'm really amazed by this. Now, after generating this app, you can simply type in any updates you want in your app. For example, if you want a small circular button where the color should be, simply type in I want a small circle where the color should be and hit enter. Now it will take some time and instantly do the changes necessary. After you do this, you can simply finish making your app and you can also click on the mobile icon and see how your application is going to look like on a mobile phone. So it's looking pretty good. I can click generate here. It will instantly generate a random color again and the history will be just right here. Now after generating your app, if you want to invite more people to work on this project, you can simply click invite, enter the email of the recipient whom you want to invite and click invite. After they accept it, they'll be easily able to get access to the codes of your application and do necessary changes if needed. Now, after you finish it, click publish at the top right. You can choose whether you want to publish the mobile app or simply get a custom domain. After you do this, click publish changes. Now, it will instantly be published. You can click view site. It will instantly take you to your project site. As you can see, anything AI just built this app. I can click generate here again and my color will be instantly generated. So this website looks pretty neat, clean and stylistic. Now I can get a custom domain if I would want by clicking here and getting a pro plan. Also talking about the pricing. If you want more features available and publish your app properly with a custom domain, you can get the pro 20k at $19 per month, pro 50k at $49 per month and the max at $199 per month. So these are the number of credits you get. With these credits, you can do changes to your apps, get more features to your apps and build more apps easily. Also, you get yearly plan that are slightly cheaper than the monthly plans. You get it at $16 per month, $40 and $160 per month. So if you want to get one, simply click get started, get the new application, complete the payment and you will get the applications and you will get a pro plan through which you can easily build more apps. Now, let's be honest about anything AI app builder because tools like this aren't for everyone. The biggest advantage is speed. You can go from idea to working AI application in hours instead of weeks. There's no backend setup, no infrastructure headache and no complex API wiring. Another huge strength is accessibility. You don't need to be an AI engineer to build something useful. Founders, creators, freelancers and even non-technical teams can prototype real product quickly. It's also excellent for iteration. You can change logic, prompts or workflows instantly without breaking the app from just right here, which is critical in AI development. Now, some disadvantages includes limitation in depth. So while it's powerful, it's not a replacement for fully custom engineering when you need extreme optimization, complex database or highly specialized AI pipelines. You're also working inside the platform rules. That means less control compared to building everything from scratch. And like most no code tools, pricing can become a factor once the usage scales. Now, who should be using anything AI? The platform is ideal if you're building AI MVPs testing startup ideas, creating internal AI tools, launching niche AI products, validating ideas before full development. But if you're building a large scale, deeply customized AI system with heavy infrastructure needs, this should be a starting point, not the final destination. Final line, anything AI app builder isn't about replacing developers. It's about removing friction between ideas and execution. And if speed matters more than perfection, this is exactly the kind of tool you should be using. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.